Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And just a quick update for you. Uh, I have been in meetings again, got quite a bit of information we're going to be sharing over on Patreon. I think last week we uploaded four or five videos there. A uh, lot of disclosure about secret military bases, alien agenda, fallen angel agenda, majorly in the fallen angel, angel agenda. Uh, going to be loading this weekend. Uh, so again, we're going to have a flurry of uh, information over on Patreon. And uh, but, but what I wanted to share with you right now, something you're not going to see in the news. Uh, U.S. says Turkey approach to Sweden, Finland, NATO bid, not a bilateral topic. Now what that is, we're talking about Turkey uh, talking about vetoing Sweden and Finland entering in NATO uh, along with the NATO alliance. Well, what is this really all about? When I say you're not going to see it in the news, where you says, Steve, we're seeing this in the news. It's not what I'm talking about. Let me go back. Let me back up right here. U.S. General Claudier, Lieutenant General Claudier there, uh, who they try to claim was uh, not captured by the Russians, uh, is actually a captured prisoner of war. We were close to securing the deal of his release without any of this going public, uh, only to have that backfire on us because of Finland and Sweden both making a bid to enter into NATO. Now there is a new catch uh, that if the United States will veto uh, Sweden and, Na and Finland coming into NATO, then the Russian government will release Lieutenant Claudier back to the United States and do it very secretively where no one really knows that he was actually captured. Now I kind of find it funny, even though they try to debunk that he was captured, I know that there are those that have uh, tried to make it look like, you know, well, he never was captured, it was all bogus. There's also those that are trying to make it, you know, look like, well, Russia's saying that they publicly, they got him. <clears throat> and, and of course, the big question was, is there any truth to it? Because after all, a Lieutenant General being on the battlefields in Ukraine, what an embarrassment for the United States. But the truth of the matter was, he was on the battlefield and he was actually captured. But the government, our government, <clears throat> is really trying to keep this quiet. Now, some might argue, uh, just like uh, we had <clears throat> this debate over on uh, John Moore's program the other day, me and <clears throat> Jeff Nyquist were having the debate over what <clears throat> whether or not he was really captured or not. Uh, as Jeff, his argument was, if the Russians had captured him, they would be blasting it to the world. My argument was that they would not blast it to the world because Russia knows it gives them <clears throat> power of negotiation in a ceasefire with Ukraine, which Russia has been trying to get a ceasefire with Ukraine and create a buffer zone between Russia and that of uh, the <clears throat> West on their borders there. Ukraine is not willing to concede not even one speck of land, so therefore the war will wage on. And of course, with Finland and Sweden trying to enter into NATO, that threw a major wrench in the release of getting General Claudier back to the United States. <clears throat> it is still highly believed that the deal will be worked out, getting the Lieutenant General back into the United States' hands, but that will not be unless we veto Sweden and Finland entering into NATO. So I kind of find it interesting that uh, we're seeing the article here, Yahoo News and many other news agencies, they're talking about Turkey being the one that would actually veto it. Seems like to me the U.S. is doing some backpedaling there, some backdoor diplomacy in order to keep it from looking like the United States had anything to do with it. Pretty smart, I would have to say, for the United States to make such a move to save the embarrassment, get our general back, and not the world ever know anything ever happened. Interesting. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And it also is interesting, too, because they did say that the general is working a command in Turkey. That's kind of odd, isn't it? After all, he was pointed the head over the European forces. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Stay tuned to Patreon. Going to learn some interesting thing about our super soldiers. Going to be speaking about that and that they were actually released. And what countries they were released in. 
how some people have cited Bigfoot, and it actually is a super soldier and not Bigfoot. Can't wait to share that with you guys over on Patreon. I'm Stephen Benner. You're watching Israeli News Live. Blessings to you and have a great evening.